This is a lecture from Open Tuition. To benefit from the lecture, you should download the free lecture notes from opentuition.com. Okay, well, we're still talking about non-financial performance measurement. In the last lecture, we looked at Fitzgerald and Moon, who I did say it was primarily for service businesses. Um, in this lecture, the other one, Kaplan and Norton. So we're looking at the same sort of idea, looking at non-financial things we should consider, but they were looking more from the point of view of manufacturing industries. And so if you're on the second page of the chapter, uh, you'll see a little, what you might call, table there. They said there were four broad areas, what they called perspectives, that we needed to focus on. Uh, the customer's perspective, uh, the internal business perspective, the learning and growth perspective, and the financial perspective. Um, and in the sense of um, the point of view of learning, and to be safe, you should learn those four perspectives. But of course, at the same time, be clear what it is we're talking about and what use. Um, you know, I'll keep the same orders here. Customer perspective. We certainly we need to focus on the customers, and we need to ask ourselves, what is it that customers value? What's important? And it depends on the type of business. You know, maybe if we did, uh, sell goods um, over the internet, maybe the speed of delivery is important to customers. For other businesses, maybe not. Uh, maybe it's um, the fact, the quality of the goods they get. You know that um, <clears throat> obviously, if we're manufacturing goods, we want the customer to be happy with it. So we need to sit down and decide what are the most important things that matter to our customers? What's our goal? And there's no rule. I mean, the two examples I gave, one goal could be speed of delivery. Not standard, it depends on the type of business. Uh, another goal could be um, high quality goods. But having decided what's important, we don't, you know, we don't just say, ooh, 20 different things. Having decided what the most important things are for our customers, then we have to decide how are we going to measure whether or not we're giving them what they want. So possible measures If speed of delivery, we decided, was a crucial thing for our customers, then uh, you've got an example on the next page. Percent of on-time deliveries. That was certainly relevant in one. Oh, thanks, some question. Because uh, they've given you information. They gave you information about what percent of deliveries were on time. Well, that's obviously something worth measuring if it's important to customers. Uh, how might you measure, if we decided that high quality goods were uh, what was likely, how might you measure that? Ooh. Percentage of goods returned? But it's your job in the exam to look at the information given and to decide what sort of measures might be relevant. You know, and percentages there, obviously if you sell twice as many goods this year, you're not going to be surprised if there are a lot more returns. Uh, internal business. What process must we excel at to achieve our customer and financial uh, objectives? You know, we want to cut costs, for example. Uh, and so our goal may be use resources more efficiently. You know, a big cost 
It's likely to be our labour. But how can we use the labour more efficiently? Get them to produce more. And how can they produce more? By working faster. And so if, if that's our aim, our goal, then one way we might measure that is um, uh, the time, oh, labour time per unit. It's something we can put a figure to. And if we're producing faster and being more efficient, it's good. Uh, learning and growth. This is rather similar to one of um, Fitzgerald and Moon's six measures. How can we continue to improve and create future value? If we want to do well in the future, we've got to continue to think of new ideas to keep things going in the future. Uh, and you've got an example there, the number of, not the writing, the number of new pro products introduced. We need to keep thinking of new products. They may not all be successful, but if we simply rely on our existing products, think back, think back to uh, life cycle costing. If we just sit back and say, oh, we're selling desks and we're doing wonderfully, uh, not bother thinking of new products, there'll come a time when somebody else steals our market, when desks stop being as saleable. Uh, time to market for new products, again, the faster we can get them on the market. Well, we haven't talked enough about that life cycle cost. And finally, financial perspective, well, that really was the um, financial performance lecture. Obviously, we need to look at uh, financial measures. How do we create value for our shareholders? Look at profitability, look at growth. Sales growth is desperately important. Although we look at profitability each year, I'm not going to repeat what I said in the uh, financial measures lecture. One way of increasing profitability is by cutting costs. And OK, we always want to make sure our costs are under control, but you can't keep cutting costs forever. I mean, there is a limit. You need your sales to be growing. If our sales are falling, OK, we may be able to cut costs a bit and keep the profit OK, but there comes a time you can't cut any more. And your sales carry on falling, profits fall. So we need to be looking always to check our sales are growing. <clears throat> and if they're not growing, then we need to worry. Okay, so that's it. Uh, I hope I've said enough about uh, the importance of non-financial. The ultimate aim is to uh, uh, make better profits. But if we don't keep maintaining, improving quality, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, then however profitable we may be in the short term, if we're not maintaining quality, uh, we're not going to be able to increase profit in the long term. Um, so it's so important that you know, our managers are made to look at non-financial, consider non-financial areas, Otherwise, it's what we call short terms. And people focus on the short term and just worry about this year's profit without thinking about the impact it might be having on quality. OK, so that's not financial, but do, do, do attempt the online test, the MCQs, and do look at past exam questions, revision kit questions uh, on particularly non-financial performance measures, and see the way it's asked. Um, anyway, I hope that's helped.